Hello, I'm Lee Carter, president of Sleep Essentials. If you're in Fairfax, Virginia, and you're doing research to buy a new mattress, let me encourage you to go to mattresseducation.net. Mattresseducation.net is a website that I developed, and there you will find a series of educational videos that I have produced. I've been in the mattress industry for over 10 years now, and I can tell you definitively that the larger the brand name of mattresses, the bigger the piece of junk. Uh, you may even be doing research because you have found the mattresses that you've owned in the past have not lasted. I'm going to prove to you that that's the case, and I'm going to document it with evidence. Uh, on there, when you log on to mattresseducation.net, a, a, a video begins to play immediately. Now, that's my main video. Uh, right now, it's an hour and a half long. Uh, it's reason it's so long is because I document and prove everything I claim. I don't make claims that I can't prove. Uh, I'm going to teach you about mattress marketing materials, mattress marketing or mattress materials, mattress marketing uh, spin, what I call spin. The mattress industry makes you an inferior product and spins it to you as if it's a superior product. Uh, they give you a long-term warranty, but they, have, they exclude in the fine print what's covered under the warranty. And lastly, the most important thing, and this is the reason why you want to watch the video to the end, is I'm going to talk to you about fire retardant chemicals in mattresses. The industry is required by the Consumer Product Safety Commission to be flame retardant. They cannot burn, so mattress manufacturers must make their mattresses flame-proof, essentially. The only way they can meet the strict standard is to infuse the surface material of the mattress with toxic fire retardant chemicals. I'm going to get into a great deal of detail on that subject and I really wish you would watch it. Now I'm going to wet, wet your, taste buds, your taste buds just a bit. Uh, keep in mind I'm doing this off the cuff as is true in all of my, web, uh, all of my videos. Uh, I'm not reading from a teleprompter. I'm not a professional um, presenter. I am the man who does the business. <laughs> I'm talking to you the same as I talk to people that come through my doors every day. Now, to wet your taste buds, I have a Tempur-Pedic brochure. Now, you've probably heard of Tempur-Pedic. Inside, it's advertised everywhere and TV and uh, uh, print and radio. Inside the brochure, they show the every different model of Tempur-Pedic mattresses, and they show how they're made. It's a different arrangement of foam. Now, a Tempur-Pedic mattress is made of 100% polyurethane foam. Uh, to prove that, again, I'm going to give you the evidence. This is a law label off of Tempur-Pedic, and it says polyurethane foam 100%. Polyurethane foam is made from petroleum, so it's essentially plastic. The chief characteristic of all polyurethane foam, all plastic foam, is it softens substantially with use. Now, to prove that, I have a copy of Tempur-Pedic's warranty. This is a 20-year limited warranty. In the first paragraph, I want to read to you something that's very revealing. It says here, it is understood this limited warranty does not include a normal increase in softness of the temper pressure material. They admit to you it softens, it's not covered under warranty. Uh, now this is a 20 year warranty. If it takes 20 years to soften, that wouldn't be so bad. Let's look at how quickly polyurethane foam softens. ePinions is a place where people write in about the products they buy. You go there, you'll read a lot of positive testimonials about Tempur-Pedic. These are people that have had it a few months, sleeping like never before. But if you dig far enough, you're going to find some people that have had it a while. This woman writes on ePinions.com, I was a die-hard Tempur-Pedic fan with the emphasis on was. Count the bed lasting for about four years only. My husband and I are both thin, and his side started softening after four years. It is now four and a half years later, while my side is not as soft as his, it's catching up quickly and we both wake up with backaches. They're waking up with backaches because it no longer supports. The foam has gotten softer and they sag in the middle. Uh, this is a, a testimonial that a customer wrote me uh, about his Tempur-Pedic. Now he has his on an adjustable bed, which changes the dynamics a little bit on the durability. Uh, he writes, I now have Tempur-Pedic. I sleep on an adjustable bed like a hospital bed that head and legs go up and down. After three years on my mattress, there's a crater in the middle where I sleep all the time. I can't move position much in bed because I have MS, can't walk. So do you know a better mattress that will, that will bend for adjustable bed but not have crater develop in one to two years? A crater developed in his Tempur-Pedic in one to two years. Well, the reason is is because he's sitting up in it probably a lot and he's putting a lot of pressure in the seating position. 
and putting a lot of pressure there softens it more quickly than distributing a weight all the way across it. So I hope I've proven to you that polyurethane foam softens. This is a key element in understanding how mattresses are made and what you can expect from them. If you go to mattresseducation.net, again, you're going to get a lot lengthy video of me telling you about mattresses, proving everything that I claim. It is worth your while. Do not buy a new mattress until you watch these videos. Thank you for watching. I will see you there.